Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I keep meaning to take these uh, videos. I got a whole bunch stored up in my head and I never actually get to doing them, which is kind of a shame because I have opinions on things in the library community. And now that I'm tenured, I can say them, which is nice. Um, so while my coworkers are hopefully out for a minute, I am going to talk quickly about my recent decision to, uh, I don't know if it's resign or just quit. <laughs> Um, the ALA group that's core, C-O-R-E. Um, so first, starting with a little backstory. My current job I got into from a really strange sort of sideways manner, um, namely because I came in through archives, which I was hoping to become an audio archivist, but that did not work out. Um, most of my career plans did not work out, but I managed to fail upwards, so we're not complaining. Um, but when I got this job, I was happy because I actually was told like, hey, you're never going to have to teach again. Uh, you're not going to have to reference. You can just be a nice, happy tech services person. And uh, yeah, flash forward to the great retirement and I get to teach again. No reference yet, but I do have huge teaching responsibilities now. Uh, but at the time, I was super excited because I'm like, yay, I can uh, stop paying for a zero. Because no offense to ACRL, I just, I hate teaching information literacy because it's so obvious to me. It's like really hard for me to try to um, articulate it to others. And it's also not super compelling for me to read. Nothing personal to people who teach information literacy. There's other stuff in ACRL, I know, but most of it I wasn't really into. So I was glad to be able to give that up. And I took on a, another um, American Library Association uh, group, which was LIDA. Um, Library Information Technology Association. And LEAD was actually really, really cool. Um, it was very, very tech focused and it was probably the most heavy uh, male librarians in uh, library organization that I'd ever seen. And it was pretty darn cool. And at the time I was already in um, ACRL or ACRL or, yeah, no, not ACRL, I'm sorry. Uh, Alex. Oh, dang it. Of course, now I have the brain fart. <laughs> Association for Library Collections and Technical Services. Okay, keep going. Um, so I was already in there when I was in with um, ACRL, which is the American, uh, the association, <laughs> AC College and Libraries, or College and University Libraries. Thank you. CRL, College and Research Libraries. Okay, acronyms are not my thing, the joy of dyslexia. So, now that I've defined all that for you, uh, so we have the Collection slash Technical Services Association, which I've been in for a while, and then, like I said, I switched from the teaching one to the one for uh, tech people, which was awesome, and I really enjoyed it. And I was having a, a fine old time. Um, over the years, though, as costs have risen, ALA has made the decision of, hey, we don't need to publish print anymore. I fought against that because I read every single article that was published in the print mags because I could leave them in a spot in my house where I had nothing else to read. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I learned a lot of stuff that I wouldn't otherwise normally have encountered or managed or had any interest in looking at other than the fact that it was in a spot where there was not much else to look at. Um, unfortunately, though, when you kill the print, you killed, you know, my being able to do that. So now, you know, we get nice title alerts, but you just sort of scroll down and you're like, nothing you want to see, don't open it up, which is a huge shame. Uh, no cross-pollination of ideas that way, which I know you should just read the whole journal days, but now that half of it's open access, it's kind of, kind of a hard sell. Um, which brings me to the next point. Um, not only was LIDA more technologically organized, it's also had more librarians, which as someone who was raised by her dad and came through IT world in order to get into archives, library science, um, I miss having men around. <laughs> so it was always really nice to go to the conferences and forum and just be like surrounded by the yang energy. Um, and also in my case, to be totally confused sitting at presentations about coding um, and realizing you're not, you know, the smartest person at all in your industry. So unfortunately though, I guess at some point ALA was like, yeah, this isn't tenable. None of you guys are really, well, none of you guys. The three orgs that ended up forming into core, which were again, the collections technical services folks. Um, and then they ended up folding in LIDA and I 
wasn't really keen on that. And they also folded in the Leadership Org, which is LAMA, Library Leaders, uh, Administrators, and Management Association. Yeah, I may be wrong on that, but that's okay. We're getting up to our cutoff point. <laughs> And the point that I had, which is, uh, it seems like, and maybe it was just my perspective, but uh, it seemed like AC, ALCTS Selects was driving the show in core, and maybe it still is. And uh, I know we all could have stepped up more and I could have done more with the tech section, but I don't know. I never got the same vibe as I did when we were working together in Lita. And Lita did discuss things that were relevant to gender issues and um, other non-tech stuff, but the tech section never really took off the same, and it never really felt like a good replacement to me. Um, and I sorely miss being able to go to those, you know, guy spaces, which I know sounds really sexist, but when you're surrounded by women all day and you've grown up around men, you do kind of miss being around men occasionally. <sighs> Judge me if you will. <laughs> so, that brings me to sort of the value proposition I was faced with this year, and it's like, Sorry, Corey, you're not really doing it for me. Um, I'm on the fence about staying in ALA in general, which I'll describe as to why over more uh, forthcoming webcasts, because I think ALA has gotten a little too progressive. Needs to ratchet back. Don't need to, you know, push every single thing at everybody all the time. But that's just my take, and uh, good luck, Core. I may end up going back to Alex and rejoining the technical section, or not Alex, ACRL, <laughs> and rejoining the technical section. Um, yeah, now that I do have to teach again. It's all right, though. It's it, it's an interesting, brave new world with far, far, far less drama with all the retirements. So I may have more work, but I have far less drama. So that's not so bad. All right, more library news. Um, well, opinions. I don't know if we would call it news. <laughs> In the future.